This is still the polity, and we're reaching you live from the Abuja studios of Kaftan TV right about now. I have um, a political activist, Robert uh, Arome Ebu, uh, and with him, we are going to be analyzing some of the issues making the rounds in Nigeria. Today, you're welcome to the program. Thank you. Program, and once again, thank you for uh, taking out your time to uh, be on our be in our studio uh, uh, today. Uh, quite a lot has been happening in Nigeria, you know, yes. from the uh, over the past few weeks, the uh, gruesome murder of uh, men of the Nigerian military in Delta State, the internal wranglings between uh, the ranks of the Labour Party, and also the ownership issue between the Labour Party and the Nigerian uh, Labour uh, Congress. You know, prior to the 2023 presidential elections, it felt when when we talk about when most nigerians when most nigerians talk about the labor party it feels more like yeah the the uh, at long last the type of political party that would finally give the two heavyweights you know a run for their money has uh, finally come into uh, the scene but then uh, you bear me uh, witness to the fact that uh, Immediately after the presidential election, it has been from one uh, crisis to another. And it has um, taken a whole new turn now as we have seen uh, the presidential candidate of the party now uh, speaking and insinuating that um, if things do not um, go back to how it used to be, uh, insinuating that he may be forced to uh, leave uh, the party. What are your thoughts on this I internal wranglings within the ranks of the Labour Party at the moment? Actually, the issue rocking the Labour Party to me is a normal issue that has also always been rocking various political parties in Nigeria. Mm. Because in Nigeria, the people fail to understand that the politicians were having they are the same set of people. Mm. And these people, they are good in running on the emotions of the citizen, on the poor masses. And once they feel that this party is not working for them, they look for the next party to use, you know, probably to deceive the, the people, the citizen, mm. in getting what they want. Because I've come to realize that majority of our politicians are self-centered, they are after their personal interests. Mm. I hold no grudge against Peter Obi. He's a very great guy. He's somebody I love so much. But when you come to Nigeria, you find out that all politicians are victims of moving from one political party at any instance. Mm. And you find out that at the time of, the, of forming the party or at the, at the initial stage of the party, you see that they have a lot of uh, interest and by the time the, the campaign starts and other issues start coming up, you realize that there are people of different interests mm. coming together. And when you have such uh, a situation, you will discover that there will be issue on the long run. And definitely there will be issue. And that is what is still facing Labour Party, APC, PDP. You go to those various parties, there are internal issues because of personal interest of the members or the leaders, you know, uh, driving the political parties mm -hmm. and um, I, I feel that the system we are practicing is a, is a cause, is a reason mm -hmm. because there's a law that, um, that uh, politicians cannot move around anyhow they like. I believe they will try a possible best to, you know, find solution to any situation in their political, in party. Their political party instead of shaking out and any slices uh, moment they move out you know you see that if there are law placed that politicians are if you are to leave a political party you should vacate your position for mm. instance you, you discover that um, maybe it will reduce this uh, jumping from here and there. Carpeting. yes and if for instance even even you don't have a political uh, 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 a position, position if they can make a law that you know if you move now you have to wait for at least six seven years before you can be given the the flag bearer of the party or you can be make the flag bearer of a party mm. i believe it will you know reduce this um cross carpeting here and there and there will be more of internal development of the party 
rather than the, all this uh, chicken out at any instance of uh, disagreement within the party leaders, which I see is what is happening in the Labour Party because it, it was um, a party that brought in a lot of interest from mm. different political parties. Mm. They came together with different interests and now the interest is no more aligned together. So you see that a lot of crisis is coming up and they're looking for a way to, you know, move around as usual, which is their, which is their common practice uh, in Nigeria here. Mm. But then, uh, you know, I want to look at, I want us to, you know, uh, dwell more extensively on this uh, Labour Party issue because over the past uh, 12, 13 months, the Labour Party is, is a political party that, um, that when most Nigerians especially the young nigerians the youths when, when 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 they talk about they, they 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 love to see it as the as an alternative to the old order when i say the old order i mean the apc and the pdp looking at what the situation is right now what does this you know what does this um, uh, mean what should the Nigerian youth, the Nigerian populace, expect moving forward? Do, what does this mean for the uh, hopeful Nigerian who are saying that as long as, as, long as uh, we have the Labour Party, as long as there is life, <coughs> uh, we will come back again. And, you know, with the help, with our PVCs, with our voters card, we are going to, you know, vote out we are going to take out this old order but with the current internal wranglings what should be their hopes and expectations um the hope and expectation for the every nigerian youth out there is that we should look beyond political parties mm. we should look beyond um you know having a political party that is driven by these old people but is, is it is it, it, with the current uh, political uh, formation with the current current political setup in nigeria is it really possible for us to have that political system of course no of i'm course. coming Wh whereby we, we we look uh beyond the political party Very we, and focus more uh, on the, on the individual because the reason why i'm asking if we look at the uh, uh 2023 presidential elections yes you and I will agree that part of the undoings of the uh, Labour Party and um, uh, Mr. Peter Obi in that election was the fact that the party in which he ran under, and also the fact that um, he there was no uh, uh, in-depth grassroots uh, penetration. Something that the old order, the old order, the PDP, the APC, you know, have an unfair advantage in. So, do you really think that we can get to that point where we begin to focus more on the can or more on the individual than the uh, political? Uh, is 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 possible? Hmm. Is how, possible? How, how? Is possible? Hmm. And if you ask me how, the majority populace of Nigeria currently is the youth. Hmm. When you talk about this old order, getting away with the irregularities and manipulation electoral manipulations who are the the, the engineers who are the who are the uh, champions those they're using carry out those um evil deeds is the youth mm. when you talk about election ballots national tango that uh, that has reduced drastically when you talk about um togri in election when you talk about um the violence in election who are they those that they are using in penetrating this act is mm. the youth mm. If the youth can come together and say, no, let's find a way outside political parties. Let us choose a candidate. Either be it Labour, either be YPP. If our YPP is of more of a youth party than Labour, the Young People, uh, Democratic Party. Mm. We have parties that the youth, the youth can also um, take advantage of. It's not about the party. It's about even identifying the individual that can stand, you know, protect the interest of the Nigerian youth. Mm. The Senegal just made history. What is the population of youth in, in Senegal? Is it up to the population of youth in Nigeria? Mm -mm. We have more population in terms of youth than Senegal. Why can't we achieve such in Nigeria? If the youth can come together and say, no, these political parties, they are just dribbling us. 
Because when they come to position, key positions in party, they don't even give it to the younger ones. Mm. It's still the older ones. Mm. And when you see that, okay, the people that are moving from this party to the other, today now they are in APC, tomorrow they are in PDP, you see this old order. Mm. And when they are moving, they move with youth that they believe that can deliver for them. Mm. But if the youth can come together and come to their rising and say, ah, this thing, we have the population, we have the numbers. In fact, if the whole Nigerian youth decide that let's vote for one candidate, the candidate is going to win. Mm. If the whole entire Nigerian youth with PVC say, ah, this is who we are going to vote, no matter how the election is going to be manipulated, this is who we are going to stand for. Mm. The person is coming out victorious. So I believe it's a time that is the Nigerian youth should have this orientation that, yes, this power is in our hand. We should stop, you know, uh, following this uh, old order because what they are using in buying them over is money. Mm. Let them kill their taste for money. Let them kill their taste for material things that this people is using in cajoling them into whatever means they are using in uh, the electoral fraud. If they can turn down this offer and stand for justice and stand for equity and stand for what the Nigerian youth ought to be known for. Mm. I believe the Nigerian youth will one day take the position of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria if they can stand united together. Mm. It is possible. So how soon do you think that, that will be? I believe not far from now. Mm. We can see the evolution everywhere. Senegal have just shown an example. Mm. With the happening around, some youth are already getting into politics. If you go to the National Assembly, the Senate, we have a good number of youth there. I believe with time, not far from now, it might not be the next election, it may be in the next three elections, the youth will get it right. Because mm. they're already taking the right step. We see some young Nigerians, you know, speaking out and coming out to say, ah, this is our, this is our chance. We have the number. Mm. We have the intellectual, we have the strength, because we, 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 we are the strength of the nation. Mm. We have the strength. So they are now believing in their self now that they can achieve it. So I believe with time and with this electoral reform, like uh, if, if you know that we have not too young, uh, not too not young, too young to run, to run. view, uh, mm. such things now have given us the, the foundation to start from. And I believe with time, it will all materialize because I, like me, I've read, I made up my mind, I cannot support somebody that is uh, at, at least above 50. Hmm. The last election, I supported so worry. Hmm. Even though he's among them, I, I, I believe in his manifesto, hmm. the last election. So you, if we can identify youth of good will, youth that will protect the interests of the Nigerian, the common person on the street, then we can leverage around them and see how we can take over this country which i believe is possible mm. all right then i still want us to uh, go back to the labor party okay. uh, internal wrangling and then um, just uh, sometimes last week uh they heard the they heard their national convention, convention. in uh, anambra state and it has been quoted as um, uh, a acrimonious uh, national convention part of the uh, outcomes was the fact that um, was the fact part of the accusations against the, uh, the chairman that uh, re-emerged uh, talking about Julius uh, Aburi, uh, according to the coming from the Peter Obis camp that um, uh, he did not carry carry out a, a an all inclusive uh, consultation before going ahead with the uh, with the uh, convention. This is according to the spokesperson of the Obidati uh, presidential campaign what are your thoughts on this and um you know for so long now there has been a lot of um there, there has been a lot of um allegations of forgery of uh, uh of uh, uh, of, uh, of of illegal substitution of candidates against um, barrister julius Sabure and most recently uh misappropriation of the party's uh, funds uh, how do you think the labor party can come out of uh, all of this um the Labour Party is um, is one of the major, to me, they are even playing the, ma the major opposition role more than the PDP currently. Mm. And um, I will want them not to jeopardize their chances because they have many Nigerians looking up to them. And 
what happened in Edo State, I felt bad because we Nigerians, you know, we can easily be driven by emotions. And you see that so many Nigerians are so much in love with Labour Party as a mm. party that they see that I can come and rescue them as a people. And you see APC going this way, going the wrong way. We saw PDP going the wrong way, you know, producing two candidates, mm. uh, APC producing two candidates. And the Labour that was supposed to stand out, mm. Also, also produce, produce. follow two, two candidates. Hmm. And it says that these people are all the same. But I believe the Labour Party still have time to redeem their image hmm. because they are still young. And um, if uh, His Excellency Peter B, as a leader of the party, has a major role to play, I believe the, the, the statement for his campaign council was not timely. Hmm. He was supposed to carry out a backyard negotiation you know reconciliation and they can on whatever congress they have they can reconcile their interest mm. for the major interest of uh, the citizen mm. which is what's supposed to be paramount in whatever they are doing because they should ought to drop their own personal interest aside and look into the p general picture that ah nigerians are looking up to us as a party we don't have to be doing things like these other people that they're already getting fed up because when you see that other parties are producing two two candidates we are supposed to you know be um mm. of a very good be, example be, be the shining light yeah be the shining light mm. we are supposed to be different but we, we they are being seen doing the same thing like just as the apc are doing and the pdp and uh, i still believe there's so much time for them to see redeem their image because um i know the personalities in the party they are great personalities and the shaman also it's not it's, it's not let people to talk to him wrongly or take him away from the leaders of the party in whatever is doing supposed to carry all the parties members along, along. and the leader of the party mm. which is his excellency peter b, peter b. and um, he also have a very serious father role to play in the party mm. he should call them together unite the members and let them find a common ground Mm -hmm. You understand? Let them find a common ground. The, 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 the issue of, you know, saying that the, the Congress is, a, is, is not recognized or is recognized, they should drop that aside and find a common ground. You know, they should bring their interests together on the table. They should find a common way out of it, which I believe is the best way to go. Because if they keep fighting dirty like other parties, you see that Nigerians will start seeing them that this is not what we are signing in for this is not what we want this mm -hmm. is what we're trying to run away from this kind of crisis to should it to make it look as if there's there are more of their own personal interests than the interests of the common man on the street so i believe uh, his excellency uh peter b has a major role to play in the crisis in the labor party and there's still time uh and there's still no time mm. because there's governorship election before them in those states mm. and the 2027 is not far from now you, you you need to put your house in order if not ha it's going to be a difficult 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 task for them as a party and him as a presidential candidate he me moving to another party it won't be the best uh movement for him because he has nigeria will be seeing him as one of those mm. One of those politicians that who, are not stable. who keeps moving you know, from one stable, political party to from another. P, from Abga to PDP mm. to Labour, then to our... Uh, it's you make you look like an unstable politician. Mm. Yeah, so I and I don't... There's a good image to, 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 to portray. On his uh, uh, career. Yes. All right, then. Viewers, our phone lines are now open. You can now call in to make your contributions and also ask your questions. You have 60 seconds to do that. And now it's time for us to move to other stories now. Uh, it's been 10 months since this present administration uh, removed the fuel subsidy. Okay. And then um, uh, after 10 months, just like they promised, uh, the electric vehicles that were promised to be rolled out uh, are yet uh, to be rolled out. And also, in the past few weeks, you and I can uh, testify to the fact that uh, the, uh, the, the, the the power crisis has um, been at its um, all-time uh, low in the past few weeks. What are your thoughts on this? And um, this is a question I love to ask my guests uh, uh, almost all the time on this uh, very 
uh, program. Do you think with the current policies the government keeps uh, rolling out every day, do you think they have um, the political will and the empathy to surmount, you know, these current economic challenges being faced ni by Nigerians? Um, actually, the um, current administration of uh, His Excellency President Bola, Tinubu. President Bola Metinibu, uh to me, I've tried to examine some of his policies so far, some of his appointments so far, and I, I'm still giving some benefit of doubt hmm. uh, because some of the policies look realistic very very realistic uh, for instance i can say that in some days now the the, the, the naira is gaining value mm. the naira is gaining but, value. but how, how, how sustainable do you think that can be because a lot of Ni because a lot of nigerians are saying for me too i'm feeling like we can just uh, wake up one morning and <laughs> the naira jumps to uh, <laughs> one one thousand seven hundred one thousand eight hundred and, and that's when i'm coming in mm -hmm. that the issue of maybe the hardship we are facing in nigeria to me now is 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 now more of a 50 50 thing mm. 50 from 50 percent from the part of the government and 50 percent from the part of the citizen because some of these citizens are also contributing to the hardship mm. for instance you we, you and i uh, we are conversing with the market. I I, I, I aid my wife mm. also to visit the market often. I also so I'm, I'm, I'm familiarized with some price of goods in the market. Those times that the dollar keep rising every day, every day, mm. you go to the market today, they say this thing you bought uh, 1,000, tomorrow you go back. That same thing, 2,000, they ask you that ah, dollar was 1,000. I said that dollar is 1,500 today now. And we are in a situation that since uh dollar has been coming down since three days and the price of things in the market refused to come down but they bought at the old, 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 old rate so if but they, if they, they if did they not pay. wait they did not wait mm -hmm. for the stock to finish before rising the price mm. when the dollar was rising so why wait <laughs> for <laughs> the <laughs> for the whole stock no but, <laughs> but 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 this this very issue is quite um dicey you know for let's say for example i buy this device at um uh 10 naira and you know at a particular uh, uh -huh. dollar dollar rate and um before i finish before this goes out of stock in my uh warehouse you know dollar goes to uh, say jumps by say 200 naira or 300 naira while i still have the old, old stock okay. are you saying are you saying that um because the do dollar has re has reduced now i should automatically you know take down the the price of what i already have and if i do so if i do so how am i supposed to restock my warehouse for instance mm. we have those who have these goods mm -hmm. who have these warehouses stock Mm. with goods that can even last them more than six months seven months you mm. and i know how these people operate if you can raise the price of goods of a commodity that you have stuck over a month for a dollar that rose that day mm. why not crash down the price when the dollar is coming down that day mm. why waiting for another many months for god knows for you to bring down the price of goods and this thing is what they are doing everywhere even for the price of things to even come down now with scores as some are even going up. Mm. So you now begin to ask, is now the is the dollar now the issue? Because the, the, the dollar that they have given us as excuse is the dollar is uh, is coming down it's against coming the Naira. Down. But but then don't you think it's also a failure on the part of the government? And because that is where I say 50 50 mm. on the part of the government, that's where they're also failing. Mm. Because the government supposed to ought to have a very uh, standard regulatory council mm. or a tax force that to is checkmate yeah, this check these prices, these prices mm. you know checkmating these marketers on on how they are selling their commodities if they are if they are causing inflation or or whatever what, what, what are they following up are they are they regulating the price of of, of goods on and services in the market mm. if, if you discover there's nobody regulating prices of goods in this country everybody can wake up and at price at his will mm. 
and it goes in this country. You mm. and I know that. Mm. But now, what would you say about the uh, electric vehicles that were promised by the federal government and up to now, uh, nothing has been heard Our of government it. are so slow in uh, implementing policies. Hmm. Even as uh, is actually uh, President Bola Metunubu is running as policy, you discover that his policy are good, but the implementation are kind of slow. The, the implementation is not okay. See, the minimum wage, they are still dragging, hmm. dragging, you know, uh, they, they promise that they are going to train so many Nigerians f so that there will be um, uh, 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 CNG. CNG buses. Yeah, CNG buses. So that there will even be CNG uh, uh, conversion centers here mm. and there. But why, why are you seeing all those things? None is happening. If you go to the secretariat or the, 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 the federal secretariat, you see plenty of CNG buses packed. Well, why is stopping them to roll out these buses for, to ease the suffering on the part of the masses. Hmm. Why pack those buses? That, that, is, that is the issue with our government. Wastage. If they tell you how much they budget for those buses, how much they have, they, have, they, have, they have spent on those buses, you will not believe. Why spend so hugely on, on those buses and you abandon them? If you roll out these buses, the Abuja commuters, we, 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 we have so many reliefs. Because if you get to Abuja now, most of the, the people running public transport are private are people. private owners. Hmm. Because public, the, the, the former Rufai buses, we, we all know about 80% of it are dead. Are dead. Yeah, hmm. nothing, no maintenance, nothing, nothing. So I, 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 I'm expecting this government to take drastic action in those areas. Hmm. Roll out these CNG buses, roll out these electric vehicles. Train our citizens, empower them. This is even an avenue for them to even create more jobs. Mm. And that is also tell people that when we have a situation like this, people should also think an avenue of making money from it. Because when there are problems, it's become an avenue to see if you can, mm. be, you know, come you out know, with a solution. Take advantage of, and the, of, take the, advantage mm. of the situation. You know, you can come out with ideas that can, you know, fetch you money. For instance, now, how much is a fuel? A fuel is about some uh, 60, 670 naira mm. per litre from filling station. A CNG is sold today at 230 per litre. Mm. Why not convert your own vehicle to CNG instead of still battling with the high, 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 uh, high, high cost fuel? of uh, petrol? But then uh, yeah. uh, converting, uh, converting a premium motor spirit vehicle t to uh, CNG powered vehicle is not something that comes. Uh, it's not something that comes cheaply. You, and you, and, and you that can, is where also the government supposed to also come, come in. These are mm. the things they should have subsidized for the citizen mm. to make it easy. By the time they, 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 they we have major ma ma majority of vehicles on CNG, who will now be queuing for fuel? Hmm. So PMS, the use of PMS will reduce. And that is why the government they has a lot of work to do. And um, I see them not meeting up to not that meeting up expectation. To that expectation. You know, they need to sit up, they need to to, to also add more fire. I hmm. like uh, this government, uh, present administration, I, I can only see the minister of uh, FCT, uh, is yes, yes, which is only one I've really see uh, uh, proactive. Hmm. I don't really see others, okay, the minister of interior hmm. also, but they need others to sit up that the minister of transport have a lot to do. Hmm. Okay then, uh, because our time is far spent and then, um, you know, something really rem remarkable uh, happened recently in mm. the Nigerian uh, aerospace where okay. a Nigerian indigenous airline, you know, mm. uh, airpiece air flew from Nigeria to and landed in uh, UK, you know, something that uh, had not happened in the last um, seven years. And the m uh, one of the remarkable things about it is the fact uh, that um, the aircraft was uh, powered by a, a jet fuel refined by the Dangote uh, refinery mm. in Nigerian uh, in Nigerian uh, company and also it landed at the Gatwick uh, airport in the United Kingdom owned by a Nigerian the aircraft was flown by an all Nigerian uh, okay. crew this is something uh, remarkable and then um, one thing I found 
really uh, beautiful about the uh, uh, site was the uh, Isiago attire yes, worn yes. by the air uh, hostesses. Richard. It was very beautiful and, you know, it spoke volume about the uh, richness in our culture. From here, uh, what do you think should be the logical next step for Nigeria? Because I believe if we, you know, can take advantage of this, it will bring you in so much forex to, you know, help fight uh, the consistent decline of Naira. What are your thoughts on this? Uh, actually, to me, Nigeria is taking the step that we ought have taken long time ago. Hmm. And this is the only way Ni Nigeria currency, the Naira, will hmm. even continue to have value. Because you, you see that this is a Nigerian flight. Hmm. It's using the Nigeria uh, jet, food, oil. Uh, hmm. uh, jet oil. With Nigeria crew, with Nigerian crew, Nigeria made dress hmm. tickets bought in, in Naira. Naira. Hmm. These are ways for the current, uh, our current economy to grow hmm. in terms of Naira having value, and that is when we patronize our own, and that is why we urge many Nigerians now to fly airpiece. Hmm. Anyway, you are going now, they are landing in UK, fly airpiece. If this domestic international fly airpiece, let's patronize our own. Hmm. Let's Let's explore our country because if you are patronizing airpiece, you are you are giving Naira more strength. Hmm. And if you are patronizing them, you are encouraging the company, you are encouraging the establishment hmm. because you will you will discover that there will be growing, there will be growth in the system. Hmm, and definitely. that will also encourage more indigenous um or mm. airline airlines to, 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 to also expand their their, their their flights to other countries and I also expect so other flights to emulate airpiece other airlines, or other airlines mm. to emulate, uh, emulate airpiece. airpiece so I, I I was so happy about that news it is a remarkable uh, 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 achievement in the in the aviation sector for mm. for us and uh, I believe with time more positive uh, things will be will happen in Nigeria, and I also believe that by the time we begin to to produce what we consume mm. in Nigeria, by the time we we, 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 we we change our status to more consuming nation to a more productive nation to to a time that Nigeria can boost that ah we have refining fuel of that we are consuming in Nigeria, you will discover that the issue of Naira falling, dollar rising to be a thing of the past. Mm. And Naira and our economy will be of a sound uh, uh, and uh, uh, a good economy. Mm. And uh, I believe Nigeria will be great again. I'm very optimistic about the progress of Nigeria mm. because I, I am a patriotic citizen that wants my country to be a better place, a better irrespective place. of any political party you find yourself today, mm. Nigeria is your country. Definitely. Anywhere you are in the world, any country you are going to in the world, Nigeria remains your home. Mm. If there's a breaking news about Nigeria that is bad now, mm. it's also reflect on you. Definitely. And if the news is of good news, it's also reflect on you because you are Nigerian. You mm. are is your country you cannot deny it mm, and that is all the truth of the matter absolutely mm. thank you uh robert i'm arume ebo for your very much insightful uh, analysis we really do appreciate your time it's with a us pleasure, in it's the a studio. Pleasure, and we do hope to have you again uh, some other available. time viewers at home this is where we draw the curtain on today's episode of the program do all to join us again same time and same station tomorrow my name is francis adini bye